Hi guys, this is Alex and this is the review of the iOS 9 on the iPhone 4S. So let's get into it. So a few words about the iPhone 4S. It was introduced in 2011 by the Steve Jobs employees and it has the i5 chip, an 8 megapixel camera and Siri. Where surprisingly this is his fourth update because every single iPhone that came out before this one didn't get the fourth update It was just stuck on the third one and forgotten. Luckily those who own iPhone 4S don't have to change their phone for another year. But let's go to the actual review. First thing I want to start with is multitask. It is now slightly changed and has these cards laying one on another and I think it makes the appearance of the new firmware even better. Huge changes went to the latest version of the iPad. It is now able to handle videos while you're doing something. You can also scale and move this video across your screen. Next thing I want to talk about is low power mode. It can add 3 hours of battery life to an iPhone by cutting down the features that drain battery. It turns off automatic mail fetch, disables background app refresh, disables motion effects and disables animated wallpapers. Next thing Siri. Siri can do a lot more in iOS 9 with contextual awareness. If you ask Siri to remind me about this when you're looking at requests you received at your message app, Siri will understand what you mean by this and will add the event. Siri is also more aware of the location, so a very specific reminder like call my father when I get in the car will work. Third party apps can also work the same way with Siri. Apple announced the next step for Apple Pay called the Apple Wallet which will formally replace Facebook. Apple now lets users add store cards, loyalty cards and reward cards in their wallet in addition to debit and credit cards. Apple Wallet will also notify users of the best card to use depending on where the user is shopping. The Notes app has been significantly improved. You are now able to draw in different colors in the landscape mode of the iPad or iPhone. Notes also has a dedicated button on the bottom of the screen where a user can insert an image from a photo library or capture a new picture. There are also plenty of options how you can format your text. You can choose between title, heading, body, checklists, bullet points and other stuff. Spotlight search has been enhanced with a series of suggestions. It now includes the list of people you speak with often, apps you might want to use depending on the time of the day, nearby venues like restaurants and gas stations, and relevant news. Over time, iOS 9 learns more about your usage habits and will create an experience that is tailored towards your needs. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed my video, please see my other videos and subscribe to my channel to support me, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out!